So one benefit that we had, and I think that stayed with us after we had split up, was that each of us recognized that it was possible to make a, a, a professional movie without ha being surrounded by hundreds of acolytes and hundreds of feather-bedded assistants and people whose jobs were kind of murky. Uh, get in there, shoot the picture, get out. So you guys both basically took your original concept of making a movie, the way you did it together, and, and continued on that course Absolutely. as loners. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. It shows. I mean, uh, you know, it shows in, in the sense of, uh, I personally think a movie done the way you were doing it captures it better than something that's long and drawn out and shot over and over again to get the shot the director wants. I think uh, in a lot of ways your films are truer to form and are more of a time capsule because it captures it right there on the moment. Well, there's a spontaneity to it. Now, I keep seeing how the late Stanley Kubrick would make 48 takes and still not be satisfied with highly paid, highly competent professional actors. And you look at the results with a movie such as Eyes Wide Shut, and you say, now to what are we paying attention here? Mm -hmm. We are paying attention to one individual's egoistic uh, interpretation of what represents perfection, rather than what's gonna cause somebody to come out of the theater and say, hey, that was some picture, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. What could possibly be the difference between when, as you say, you have Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise, both of whom are very competent performers, what could possibly be the difference between take one and take 48? About 6,000 feet of film. All right. <laughs>